This report includes graphic content. Viewer discretion is advised. At the prison in downtown Port-au-Prince, the inmates have escaped. The rubble is all that remains. We'd heard the prison was destroyed. We didn't realize we'd find the door wide open. Inside, prisoners' possessions are strewn about. Signs of overcrowding are everywhere. This jail was meant to hold some 1,200 inmates, but at the time of the quake, there were more than 4,500. We've been told that there were three uh, dead bodies here. Uh, it turns out there's actually four, four men. It looks like they were crushed by, by falling debris. There's actually dried blood all here on the floor. We just saw uh, a young man, a little boy, who uh, was looking for his brother, looking at the bodies. But a, a lot of these people may never be identified. I mean, they're, they're already sort of almost swollen beyond recognition. And uh, it's not clear how soon these, uh, these men will be collected uh, and buried. A lot of people, I think, in Port-au-Prince will simply just disappear. Their bodies will never be identified. Their families will never know what really happened to them. People take whatever supplies they can find. If business is closed, there's still money to be made. You can see the walls of the prison are still intact, so it's not as if the entire prison collapsed and, and, and the prisoners uh, were able to escape. We're not exactly sure what happened here, but a U.N. source tells us they believe uh, the, the prisoners actually rioted after the earthquake, took over the facility from the guards, uh, and then were able to escape from a variety of different routes. We found this rope, which has been tied around a post, it, uh, and then thrown over the side of this prison wall. It goes down about 30 or 40 feet. So clearly, inmates were using this rope to try to escape. And all along these walls, there's bloody handprints, streaks of blood. With Haiti's police stretched thin, there's little hope of rounding up all the inmates anytime soon. This man is the prison warden. How big a concern is it that all these prisoners are now out there? When you have criminals, bandits, assassins who terrorize the population, he says, and we have all these types here, it's a big problem for the country. Another big problem for this problem-prone country, the last thing they need to deal with in these difficult days.